Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we do have a new Atari game today. Yes, we do. It's called Boom, and it's from CD-W. Chris Walton. Yay! Who has made some amazing games you have definitely heard of. <laughs> um, and we're also going to play another game of his, Hunchy 2. Oh, awesome. Way back in 2005. Okay, so okay. We're bookending it. Yeah. And uh, CD-W might be here to answer your questions. Uh, I think he... Oh, there he Yay! is. He's here. He just made an appearance. Excellent. Um, yeah, so this is the exclusive world premiere of Boom. Oh, which is, exclusive world premiere. Yes, oh, cool, cool. Which is a uh, port of Bomberman. Nice. Yes, for nice, your nice, nice. 2600. Not related to Vroom. <laughs> uh, no, not Boom, Broom, no. No. <laughs> I uh, want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are gently scrolling down the side of the screen. 8-Bit Swami, Alna for Ar Arkham H, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck, Owens, Catherine 2D, Charles Donnie Mao, uh, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chive, 5 d Annoyed, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Amy Dan, Fox, Mulder, Great Defender, Ogier Rapper, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kevin Buffalo, Kev Kelly, Lauren T D Z, Marco Yandis, Mark Space, Sig, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Tao, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Zarna, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funs, Nathan Storm, Neo Mini, Pack Rack, Kovi, Kohog, Arantuitz, R70, Rendered Ghost, Friendless, VG, Cover, Ricardo Pims, Six Sweet, Sledgehammered, uh, Smitty B, Spartan, 5A1, Spice or S Ramirez, the D Train and Wash 99, Tiki Dan Cave, Teat Fost, X, Ken X. If you want to be on that long list, Oof. make me run out of breath, you can just subscribe yep. to Twitch and you get on that list. Or you can just follow. And Very then you'll nice. get alerted. I nice. uh, got some mail. Let's open the mail. Yay, mail! Before we get to the games, which one first? I'll open this one first. How do I open it? Oh, there we go. I think I know what some of these are. I don't know exactly which game this is. It's from Strictly Limited Games, which are re usually retro style games for new consoles, mm -hmm. like Switch, PS4. It oh, looks like we have 60 subscribers, the D-Train. He was wondering how yeah. many people are on the list now. Around 60, 62, yep. I think around there. I just see Depending. 60 up there, so that's well, what it's saying at the moment. Two beside it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. So, cool. yeah, lots. And a lot that's of people. That's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of people to read out. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, this is, oh, people know Very thankful, one. very thankful to our subscribers, by the way. Yes, yes. thank you so much yeah. for supporting the show. <laughs> this is a Cotton Collection, oh, which cool. is a horizontal shooter. You're a little witch on a broom oh, and you're cute. shooting things. Uh, this nice. has Cotton 2, Cotton Boomerang. That's a PS4 Guardian game. Guardian Force, Saturn tribute to Cotton. Uh, yeah, um, it's, I believe there's Cotton for the NES, but it's like, Unbelievably expensive. No, what system is it for? It's one of the systems. <laughs> Maybe it's Turbo Graphics. Unbelievably expensive. Mm -hmm. One of the most expensive games on the Turbo Graphics, but it's not as expensive uh, for reissues, so I get to play it. Uh, let's see what's in this one. Yes, I'm very that glad to see CD W coding mm -hmm. again, too. Or maybe he's always been coding. Oh, I love Panorama Cotton in the Genesis. Ah. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to open this a bit more. Oh, no, there's a is tearaway. There's a tearaway. There yeah, you go. There we go. Always relatively rough, but. Oh, my God. Is that the right side? Oh, it is. There we go. Just have to get started. Uh, CD-W says, thanks, I've been working on rebooting. Boom, we'll get back to Zevia soon. Awesome, Zevia is amazing. This is not going according to plan. It's not a great tearaway. I'm kind of just ripping it ripping without it to the shreds. tearaway. You should get one of the kit kittens to come in. <laughs> yeah, but they may not stop at the cardboard. That's very true. <laughs> they may just keep on going and yeah. chew whatever's inside, too. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Nice. This is packed very solidly. Well, what that's... is this? Sykes, oh, okay. I, I thought it was this. It's as all as flat you know packed. It <laughs> it's all flat packed. Oh, nice. So I get to assemble it. I have to do their work for them? That's okay. It's better flat packed. Look at that. It is Ooh, a new Vectrex game. That is cool. It's bent despite their best efforts. Oh. Uh, it's, uh, 
A Crush of Lucifer. I thought it was called Lucifer's Crush. A Crush of Lucifer, Very which cool. is a shooter, a first-person perspective shooter. There we go. There's the manual. Manual, yep. Yeah. Look and at that cart. Oh, it's a it. transparent cart that Ooh. I believe has lights in it. <gasps> no. That light up. <clears throat> uh, when you play it? Yeah, light up little devil horns, I oh, believe. Oh, you're kidding. So let me just show you guys. This. Uh, cat cam. Boom. Crush. Yes. There we go. Crush of Lucifer. What's that on the uh, right there? For uh, left, I guess, if you're looking. Is, it says souvenir. <laughs> oh. But I'm guessing it's a magnet. Oh, cool. Yeah, it kind of feels like a magnet on the back. Um, yeah, this has little lights in it somewhere. They didn't put them on the horn. They put them like kind of on the mouth, which oh. is behind the label. So it kind of lights up the label. Oh, cool. Super cool. It that looked cool. good. Um, and I like Vectrex games, so uh, it looked good in the video. So I went, ah. Something for Vectrex Day when we get around to it. So. Exactly. Yep. What a ne nice number of homebrews to play on Vectrex That's Day. That's right. Uh, comes with an overlay, which is nice. Ooh, so they fancy. have to put in a lot more effort for Vectrex games. Oh, yeah. Well, if you um, want overlays and that kind of thing, for sure. Look at um, that. Let's see. There we go. Nice. It's backwards. Crush of Lucifer. There we nice. go. So yeah, the Vectrex doesn't have color, even though you can mod Vectrexes to have color. Um, but standard, they don't. So they kind of paints portions of the screen different colors different with colors. the overlay. Nice. What are my socks today? Well, let's take off my slippers. They are Mario mushrooms. Yes. Sorry, I don't have Bomberman socks. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the last of the found Vectrex prototypes. Is yeah. this a, a prototype? thought it was a new game. Um, it doesn't say. Yeah, it's a little bent. Oh, I'm so sad. Look at that. Yeah, it happens. Despite... It's a problem with shipping. Yeah. You never know how well things are going to get treated. It gets crushed. The overlay does not fit in the box. Oh, well, that's the problem. Luckily, that red know. overlay reminds me of the red cellophane strips that could be used to reveal hidden text. Oh, yes, yeah. in those games. For codes. Yes. For anti-piracy so, codes. Or, well, not even that. Like, they had, like, children's games where you'd have to put the red on top of it oh, and it would reveal... I remember that. Like, like, stuff underneath. Like, for playing... Like, they were in board games, too? Yeah, I stuff like that. remember one board game I yeah, had. Yeah, I had a board that. game like that. These are Jaguar controllers. Oh, more! And these are special ones because these they? are the Jaguar Pro controllers. Oh, oh With the cool. shoulder buttons. Nice. And the six buttons. So six. now we can play that game. Oh, that yes. What is it? Oh, I can't say it right now. Not um, Attack of the Petsky Robots. Or... No, no. No. Um, I don't think there's an ad adapter for this. Uh, okay. It was a new one that we had on Atari Age Day 2022 where there was thrusters. Oh yeah, I right. was. Oh, that's a cool game, but it was very hard to play. It's because yeah. you had to use these buttons down here I for know, thrusters. It's not the greatest. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, that'll be a much much better. Two pro controllers in case we're playing a two-player game that Excellent. needs pro controllers. And now I just need to mod one of my other controllers to have the rotary dial. Oh yes. Yes. Um, you can mount that on either the bottom, which I find might be a little bit weird. I don't know. It's one on the bottom, or you can replace the D-pad. Oh, I see. With the rotary controller. So you have one rotary. Are those differ buttons or remapped ones? Uh, good question. I I don't know. Yeah, you can put a knob on the back. Um, I guess maybe you can fiddle it with your uh, other fingers underneath, but uh, or you can do it with one hand. But either way, I'm gonna read about the pros and cons of doing either one. And it looked really easy mm -hmm. to do yourself. The rotary control. And there's a bunch of original games that have been adapted and homebrew games as well. Hey, hey, Ken. Watch that bad cat. Ken! <gasps> so let's get into the news and what is the news Ken. today. Oh, I may be doing something more than just be very careful walking back there. <laughs> bad cats. Oh, he got something in his mouth. <laughs> Who's this little person on the cat cam? <laughs> <laughs> it's Sprite. If you see a uh, little, Tiny little, little 
fluffy Tiny backpack. little fluff ball, black fluff ball running around. That's that's Sprite, our new kitty. Yes, he'll be back. Oh, welcome European viewers. Yes. Yeah, we have an early <laughs> show today because we're going to dinner. Well, yes, I have we I have family in town, so I just came from the Vancouver Aquarium, and then we're doing the show, and then we're off to dinner. So yes. we're a little, we have to shift everything a yeah, little earlier. Yeah, shift it a couple hours. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo is coming up mm -hmm. June 25th, and I might be doing something more than just attending Vancouver Retro Ooh, Gaming Expo. Oh, that's exciting. Um, so I'm looking for some retro game developers in the Vancouver area. If anybody knows of developers for any console, it doesn't have to be Atari consoles, mm -hmm. um, that either worked on those ga worked on games back when the consoles were out, or works on homebrew mm. games uh, now. Um, I know that CD Dash W is in you know the the Washington greater. area. Oh, I see. Based on the map yeah. on uh, Atari Age, but that Atari Age member map is like completely outdated. Yes. Um, like by years and years and like ten years, oh, and you can't add yourself to it anymore. So I don't know where everybody lives yeah. <laughs> unless yeah. I get a package from them. I never ask them, where, like, who cares where they live? Yeah, um, So if you know any Vancouver developers, just let me know. Vancouver or general area. Well, they would have to travel Yeah. if they're not in but the But if area. they're just across the border, it's not it so bad. It may not be either. so bad, yeah. but uh, yeah. Um, because, why are you asking? Oh, I can't say yet. Oh. It's, nothing's confirmed, so... I can't say. I can't say anything yet. Once I'm doing it, something, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I can't. I can't yet because I don't. Want, I don't like announcing things before they're for sure. Oh, well, that's that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Um. So Leandro Camera posted something. Uh. Yeah. A couple of days ago, that we're going to play. That's exciting. Um, he hasn't too. said anything about the Atari Age forums. I haven't seen this posted anywhere. I'm subscribed to his channel, and that's oh, how yeah. I saw it. I can't play the audio, hmm. so you'll have to look it up on YouTube yourself or else we'll get demonetized or... Hmm. I Actually, I don't take monetization on YouTube, but it might blank out stuff that oh, I don't want to blank out. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so let's take a look at this. We can, we can talk through it because there's no audio. So it looks like Leandro is working on a Stranger Things Atari 2600 cool. homebrew game. That's very cool. And it looks really cool. He's got a bunch of clips from the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, it looks like first season. Yeah, nice. first season. So there's like the house lighting up with yeah. the light bulbs. Um, oh, he's got, he's got the um, military officer police. with his hat. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, flipping upside down. Nice. And you oh, can in the upside down. walk in the upside down world. Oh, you have to duck. Duck the fire. Duck oh, the fire funny. and rescue uh, the kid. What's Will. his name? Will, Will I think, yeah. is the one in the first season who needed rescuing. Oh, that's crazy. So there you go, multi parallax scrolling. Nice. Like five levels of parallax scrolling. That's awesome. It does look really, really good. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Developed by. Oh, I want to go back. Actually, it has some credits here. Developed by Leandro Camara, edited by Lucas. Jeswiak. Jeswiak. And then he gives credit to Stranger Netflix Things music. stuff. There yeah. we go. Very nice. Super, yes. super cool looking game. Yeah. I don't know what it's about. A 2600 game is so thematically appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're watching the new season. And I spotted in the background on top of a TV, one of the characters was covering it up a bit. Yeah. But I saw a, an adventure cart yeah. kind of sitting up. It was out of focus, but yeah. I... I Recognized it from the uh, the orange. It was on pretty the far away, and James like, "Is that adventure?" And I'm like, "I'm watching the show. Are you?" <laughs> like, she's paying know. attention to everything in the background. So, well, I'm looking for all the <laughs> all, 80s the, all the references and the nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. And I, they did have a 2600 in earlier seasons. Uh, at my first shot of nice. doing homebrew, I tried to make a hack of adventure with demogorgons instead of dragons. Mm. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next piece of news is with the gopher. Um, emulator and I thought this was really cool uh, Jet Set Illy posted uh, Monday playing around with an old idea this evening I wasn't happy with the UI controls came up with previously so I parked the code forgot about it a paint box type window that allows you to recolor the screen by drag and drop it works for searching and changing values in ROM play field and background are only for now but Sorry. something to build on no CRT effects 
in this video because the MPEG compression wrecks it. And I think he does a better version of it here in his second post. But take a look at this. I think it's big enough. Let me see. Okay, so I think he runs, yeah. So here's the program. He, he can rewind it, he pauses it, he picks a color to repaint. Oh, wow. It automatically <gasps> repaints everything associated with that Area on color. Area on those lines? On that color and that player character. Wow. It automatically goes through the ROM and replaces the previous wow. color with the new color and reprograms it, not temporarily, like permanently. Completely reprograms it. Permanently in the ROM Sorcery, that's been loaded. exactly. <laughs> it is sorcery. So, for people who are developing games, they can easily see the new colors. Like, yeah. they just go click, click, pick, point it, click. Yep. Um, and it looks like it, from that demo, like if you rewind it a bit, um, and watch him paint the first person's shorts when we go back. Yeah. Funny enough, it doesn't repaint the boots. No, he has to click on the boots. So I don't know if that's because the boots are stored separately in the program. Maybe. Thank you for following Unholy Element. Glad you're liking the show. Whether they're, def they're defined as boot color. Oh, wow. And shorts color in the game, or it's smart enough to know that that's where it starts and stops. It's like a group of it's color the first or something. Thing yeah. Where it's um, a mm -hmm. separately defined thing. But look at that. That's super helpful for developers. If you haven't checked out Gopher and you're a 2600 developer, mm. definitely check it out. The color is set twice, once for the shorts and once for the boots. So it's two there separate. Go. Yeah. That, that's what I thought. It made more sense very, that very way. Cool. Um, so if you're a developer, definitely check out Gopher. It's got that and a million more developer tools. It's really geared towards developers. That's cool. Yeah. It's really, really I'm nice. going to grab this cat because he's making a ton of noise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Real time code movement. Um, a development for the Atari Lynx, of which I'm getting one so soonish. Um, here we go. So, FujiNet, uh, a FujiNet card is being developed by T.S. Chuck. Um, you can see it there. It's being uh, worked on. So, there's a FujiNet enabled card for the Atari 8-bit system. Okay. And somebody is making one for the Atari Lynx. Oh, cool. So it'll enable internet abilities for the Lynx. Oh, wow. Um, it's just in prototype phase. Um, on May 25th, they got the first information going onto the screen of the Atari Lynx. And shortly thereafter, um, on Wednesday, uh, two days ago, they downloaded the first game yeah, over the trains, internet yeah I'll turn that off <laughs> uh, to, over the internet onto the links so you can see it there loading up chunks of data nice um you can see the, the development environment there and it's downloading it and it takes a long time but they're going to speed it up yeah and let's see if i can you can't really see it. you'll have to see it yourself and they load up rampart um, over the internet onto the links. So uh, I'll be watching with uh, interest on this because that's going to be awesome to have that in a card form, being able to have portable links going on your Wi Fi. Um, another demonstration of getting the uh, weather onto it, onto mm -hmm. your links. If you ever have playing your links and you're wondering what the weather's like outside <laughs> and you just don't want to open the window yeah. or weather somewhere else. Weather too. network. Click. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is being developed. Very, very awesome. That is very cool. Um, what is up with that cat? What are you doing? I don't know. He's just crazy. leave him alone. Why are you all so crazy? <laughs> He's doing his thing out there. You want the cats on the show, don't you? <laughs> you have to show him. Not everyone has seen you yet. Oh, fluffy this is cat. Sprite. He blends into yeah, the He sweater. blends into my sweater, unfortunately. Black sweater, black Hi, kitty. Hi, sweetie. Always blinking. Hi, sweet cat. With nervousness or happiness. Yeah, I can't quite tell. Aww. He is basically worse. Oh, no, no, come down. I'll put you down. Put him on here. 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 
easily distractible. Now he's overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> easily distractible. There we go. Let's put the cat cam large so you can see this kitty. There we go. So for you though, uh, who haven't seen Sprite, we got him almost a week ago. Yeah, uh, last Saturday. not even. One Let more day. Him. Oh, I guess so. Saturday. Yeah, almost yeah. a week. New black kitty. His name is Sprite. Named after this guy from My Neighbor Totoro, the yeah. Sit Sprite. Because he basically is a Sit Sprite. <laughs> and also sprites from video game development yes. as well. A little bit of link there. Yeah, he's a cute little kitty. Yeah. And there's, a little, a, black, there's a little black kitty oh, nice. uh, icon there. Yeah. Uh, he he has, does like the screen a he's lot. He's calmed down a little bit. Um, and re Atari is relaxing a lot more. He only yeah, hisses he was, once in a while when he's really annoyed. He was a little stressed the first couple of days, but I find they're both more relaxed around each other now. Yeah. So it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't be wearing black. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chris reached, uh, Chris, um, Chris Walton reached out to me a couple days ago. Yeah. And saying, hey, I've got a new game for you. Do you want to play it on the show? And I went, hell yeah. <laughs> and it is Boom, nice. which is a port mm. of Bomberman, which nice. is a very, very popular um, game across many, many platforms. Actually, I have it on the NES yep. somewhere. I'm not going to look for it. Uh, oh, there's Bomberman 2. I don't know where Bomberman 1 is. But this is a port of the NES-specific version mm. of Bomberman. Yes, we will definitely be making a sprite uh, emoji. Yeah. Named yep. after James' favorite pop. No, it has nothing to do with the pop, actually. <laughs> Didn't even think of that when we were naming him. Um, so this is a brand new version. Uh, he, well, we'll get into the details of it uh, in a tiny little bit, but we're going to go into the history of Bomberman Okay. Um, for a second here. And the original Bomberman uh, was developed for the NEC computer line. Mm. So we're going to just check out... Some screen, sh uh, some video of that while I talk to you about Bomberman. Nice. Uh, it doesn't look like any Bomberman most of us have seen, actually. Very different. Uh, Bomberman, also briefly known as Dynablaster in Europe, is a video game franchise originally developed by Hudson Soft and currently owned by Konami. The original game, also known as Bukada. Uh, Bukudan Otoko was released in Japan in July 1983 and has since spawned multiple sequels and spin offs released on numerous platforms. Actually, I can probably put the sound on here. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Uh, as well as several anime and manga adaptions. As of 2007, the series has sold over 10 million copies. Wow. The most recent iteration, Sumer Bomberman R Online, was released September 1st. 2020 on Stadia. Um, so let's take a look at the NES version, now that you've seen this one. And this is the one that I think most people are more familiar with, like the look of the characters. Yes. And the music. Oh, and I, <laughs> before the show I played a pokey version oh, of the Bomberman, of Bomberman theme, theme music. Nice. Yes. Um, there is no Bomberman for the 7800 or for the Atari 8-bit, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but somebody made the music um, into uh, Pokey. Um, Bomberman is an arcade-style maze-based video game developed by Hudson Soft. The original uh, computer game Bomberman was released blah 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 blah. Um, the original systems it was released for NEC PC 8801, NEC PC 6001 Mark II, Fujitsu FM7, Sharp MZ700, Sharp MZ2000, Sharp X1, and MSX in Japan. And a graphically modified version for MSX and ZX Spectrum in Europe. And uh, as Eric and the Floaters. Eric and the Floaters. That's what it was known as in Europe. Interesting. Because I guess that guy's name is Eric, and those are the Floaters. <laughs> That's strange that they wouldn't call it Bomberman. Well, it's such a... when did it come out? Was it around the time of uh, the Troubles and oh, maybe. when people were planting oh, bombs in places? I could can kind of see early that... eighties. They're like, no, we don't want to. I, games I can with see bombs. that name being a little bit uh, controversial. Yeah, I can see that as well. <laughs> Depending on where you are. Uh, yeah. da, 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 it had a Japanese sequel known as 3D Bomberman, which yeah. Bomberman blah blah blah. 1985, 
Tandy's got a cough. I am sorry. I, I I'll try. I try to keep it at bay. She's testing negative twice. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm all good, but it's not, she's not giving the little, cats COVID. A little bit of a, <laughs> a prickly throat. So. 1985, Bomberman was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System, which we're seeing right now. It spawned the Bomberman series with many installments build, uh, building on its basic gameplay. Mm. Uh, gameplay, the eponymous character Bomberman is a robot that must find his way through a maze while avoiding enemies. Doors leading to further mazes are found under rocks, which Bomberman must destroy with bombs. There are items that can help improve Bomberman's bombs, such as fire ability, which improves the blast range. Uh, Bomberman will turn human when he escapes and reaches the surface. He becomes a real boy. <laughs> um, I didn't know that he was a robot and turns into a human. Uh, each game has 50 levels in total. The original home computers are much more basic and have different rules. Um, so Chris says the game is now about 90% complete yeah. and fully playable. Um, and we originally featured the game back in 2018 on the show, mm. actually. Um, a much... Uh, it wasn't very complete back then, and it was done f using bus technology. Gotcha. Um, which is not completely compatible across all the different 2600 compatible iterations. Mm. So bus technology has not really moved forward for the 2600 games because of that. Because when you release a game, you don't want it maybe working on some systems and maybe not. And then people, like you release a cartridge and then people buy it and put it into their system and it doesn't work. Mm. Or you have to put a disclaimer, this game may not work when you buy it. It's like, well, how well is that going to do? <laughs> so bus technology has kind of gone by the wayside until they find a way to circumvent that somehow by either detecting the systems that have a problem and then implementing a different version like say see this this one is cdfj technology yeah by the way chris walton is the c in cdfj oh <laughs> um yeah so we did play it on the show so let's get to the game okay um, so if you can grab the genesis controller please trying to get Exclusive world premiere. <laughs> uh, ready? Okay. So nice. Let's Very load nice. it up. This one? Oh. Nice. You have to hold down uh, B. B? Hold down B. Oh, yes, I remember. Remember? Yeah. From years and years and years yeah. ago when we used to use the ready. Genesis controllers? Because this has uh, two button functionality. Right. Let's load it up. Oh, there we go. Well, I hit it. <laughs> Arm powered. Very nice. <laughs> Fire to play. ZPH demo. Save key. So we've got the we've got the um, Atari enabled. box enabled. Nice. It shows two buttons. And there is the high score table, Hall of Champions. Nice. And I have a score in there that I just barely played <laughs> and entered my name in. Four hundred, eh? Yeah, terrible score. <laughs> So, uh, let's, uh, you played Bomberman before? Yes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not great. I haven't played it a lot. I know you, you'll probably kick my butt on it, but, uh, yeah. am I going to play? Yes, go for it. Look at that. The skateboard and what was the other one? The oxygen. So, basically, you lay bombs, which can blow up the bricks or blow up the, uh, floaters. You're Eric. <laughs> So you have to make sure you don't get trapped by your own bombs. Ah. Get out of there. So right now your bombs don't um, don't go very far, but you can find things that increase it. We're using uh, the Genesis controller because in later stages you can trigger the bombs when you want, which is a huge advantage because you can just wait for the guys to come next to them. Right now it's on a timer. Okay, so let's go over uh, some of the uh, great things about this game. 
as you can see, the scrolling is incredible. It's per pixel scrolling. But anyway, Boom is a tribute to the popular NES home uh, Bomberman game by Hudson Soft, almost fa all, also famous for releasing Load Runner on the NES. The object of the game is to kill all the enemies, then find the hidden door under one of the walls. Each level also contains a hidden power-up that changes the rules of the game. More bombs, increased bomb radius, a detonator. So you definitely want to find the bonus item in each of the levels when you're going through it. Uh, I originally started this uh, game using bus stuffing and a work in progress was featured on ZenPH back in July 2018. Uh, I recently rebooted the game without bus stuffing using CDFJ bank switching. The screen is slightly narrower with CDFJ, 10 instead of 12 tiles. The game has a few technical firsts. Multicolor grid kernel, single pixel horizontal scrolling, 4-bit 8 kilohertz digital music, and a 112 pixel title screen logo. So if you looked at the logo on the title screen, it was really wide. Mm. So um, he's putting the technology that he's developed for the game to use on the title screen. Uh, the work in progress is about 90% complete and there are a few missing features. Uh, running out of time does nothing, so you don't have to worry about running out of time in this version. Ah! That was a very big mistake going into the corner. Um, it isn't possible to create bomb chains, and the enemy movements are not yet accurate. The difficulty level also needs to be reduced a lot, so this is apparently a hard version of it. I find the, getting the balloons to be quite challenging. You want to get them in a corridor where they're at kind a, a dead end, and you kind of want them to lay the bomb when they're moving away from you, so that when they move back, it's timed up well. There you go. Oh, he's so surprised. <laughs> he is. I can't hear the music. I will turn it up some more. It shows it very loud. The music is quieter than the bombs exploding. So I've turned it way up now. And also while we're talking, it gets reduced. So we'll be quiet for a minute. Balloons are called Baloom, Meaty Spag says. <laughs> the sounds are popping and crackling now. Okay, well, too loud. Oh, well. His, his footsteps also make a noise. There is, it, it, like, if you, it is 4-bit, 8 kilohertz digital music, so there is going to be some popping and crackling in the music because that's that's the resolution of the music, so it's not going to be uh, CD quality, let's say. Yes, there is power-ups on the first level. Just Tanya's been extremely unlucky. There's only one, I think. Oh, did you get it? No, no, I, oh. I, I think you said there's only one. Yeah, so. one per level, he says. No. So. Not a lot. Um, do, 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 do. The game is best played with a Genesis controller. In later levels, hey, this... power up! Woo! Yay! So now that's the fire power up, so you get double the range. Nice. Yeah, it's much better. Um, uh, in later levels, a second button is used to detonate the bombs. Alternatively, you can use the select switch as the second button. That would be... Uh, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but... Oh, get out of there, yeah. Uh, artwork was done by Nathan Strum, and as always, looks great. So Nathan Strum uh, adds a signature to another game. D they do look great. The guy looks awesome, and the bloom so look awesome as well. Are the mazes randomized on brick power up placement? Oh God, I, move! <laughs> I don't think they are, because I believe the exit is on the last row on the right hand side. But CD dash W, get out of there, get out of there. Oh my no, God. No, it's so precise, you can't go up. You can use angles to uh, oh. pivot yourself. I can't, there. Oof. Seven seconds to nothing. Um, the game has save key support enabled for the high score table. 
You do have to kill all the guys before you can go through the door. There's the door. And I find that detonating all the... Ah! You lay the bomb between you. Or you were between the bomb and the bad guy. No, I went down instead of up. That's okay. Oh, at least I don't have to redo it all. So I uh, got a couple questions. If people have questions for uh, Chris, he is in the chat. Uh, but I have a couple questions for him. What concessions, if any, did you make for converting the game from bus to CDFJ? Because uh, with bus, you have a little bit more time than CDFJ to cram some more stuff in. Uh, the only concession was the narrower screen width, 10 tiles instead of 12, as there is less time for kernel writes in CDFJ compared with bus. I initially did not think the kernel would be possible in CDFJ, but I was inspired by the movie cart project, and I'm using a very similar technique. Oh, oh, I got one. Um, would you consider adding multiplayer up to four with Quadtari in a future version or build of the game? And this question was Roger from Roger Lutoff on Facebook. Uh, I would really like to add multiplayer support as Barman is great as a multiplayer game. Yay, level one. However, I can't figure out how to make it work. Splitting the screen into separate scrolling regions will make them too small and the grid is too small to work without scrolling. Uh, I think it would only work with multiple Atari consoles connected together in a network via the joystick ports. Maybe I'll try that in the future. Ooh, new enemy. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody in the chat know of an Atari 2600 game that is connected to 20, or anything 2600 that is connected to 2600 to get together via their joystick port yet? I, I mean, I know that um, the Atari Vox does it because it communicates back and forth through the uh, second or any joystick port. Um, why do you need two buttons? Bomberman only used one, if I remember correctly. Did it only use one to trigger the bombs? It's only one mm. button right now. Well, yeah, because you don't have the power up yet. I would defeat the enemies first well, it's, yeah, because then you have more dead ends to trap them in. True. But I mean you have to blow some stuff up to yeah. get to some of them, yeah. So I ah, ah. so I did some research on Bomberman and Atari systems and to see if there were any other Bombermans made for any Atari systems. Um, so for 2600, there was an early work in progress in 2007 by David Weevil, S0C7. Um, it was a single screen Bomberman and the blocks, there was no, there was no walls in his. I mean, there was walls, but no bricks. So it was a grid uh, using the play field and there was enemies running around and you running around. Um, but there was no bricks, there's no power ups. <laughs> You were just defeating the, the enemies as if you've def gotten rid of all the bricks. Oh, nope. Not yet. Not yet. Some more enemies to die. Mm -hmm. um, on the 7800, there was a early work in progress called Fruitarian in 2011 by Groovy B for the 7800, um, which looked fairly f fully featured, but it was a little bit different of a game. It had the same mechanics, you walking around. Uh, another one called Bomb Man 7800 for the Atari 7800. Uh, an early work in progress uh, in 2014. Uh, on the Jaguar, there were two. Um, there was a prototype of a game that was in development that was rediscovered in 2014. And there's some video of that online, but it is very, very glitchy and it was not really ever finished. Um, and in t early 2021, there was a work in progress by Phobos for the Jaguar, um, for a Bomberman as well, but I think it was fairly early, and it was more of like a, an overview, there was no enemies in it, and it looked like an outside landscape with like a house, and grass, and pathways, so it looked very, very different. Mm -hmm. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, oh, it's treat, treat time. time for cats. I don't know if they heard that. I had to turn down a little bit. Oh, somebody's running. At least one of them knows what it's about. Ah! 
Did I scare you? <laughs> no, I didn't go the way I wanted to. Yes. Oh, continue. Yay, Thank continue. You, Woo. Oh my goodness. Ding, ding, ding. Service, Hello, please. Hello, service. Hi. One for you, one for you. I guess blah, blah, Pontan doesn't come up if you bomb the door. Oh, there's an enemy on the door that comes up. Bring it. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Good kitties. Which kitty rang it? Not oh, the black one. No. He was he's looking at the bell. Maybe he'll learn it. Good kitty. What a tiny floof. He is very tiny. He is a Oh, Atari's taken his treat away. He's like, no. Because this guy will... Yeah. This guy follow. He shadows him. He does. He looks like a shadow. And he shadows him wherever Atari goes. Because he's like, oh, Atari knows all the good stuff here. He knows where the treats are. He knows where the food is. So now he's like, oh, I have to take away my treats. Can I ring the bell? Bring it. Bring it. One more. What are you sniffing around for? Oh, harder, harder. Harder. Ah! There's one. Here, bring it. There you go. Have you tried not talking to Atari for hitting the bell? Talking to him. Oh, oh what's this? Like prompting him to hit the bell? Atari, it's right here. There you go. Our little list just stop trying to take others' food maybe after five months. Hmm. Um, he does do it on his own. Make cat cam bigger. Okay, just for a little bit. Just for a tiny bit. Oh, it is remote bombing. I can, re I can remote trigger now. Nice. Nice. Probably end up killing myself, but that's okay. Okay, it's going back to the bell. Good kitty. You gonna take it away? Nope. <laughs> oh, good question, Mike Latow. Is the music actually digitized music developed outside the 2600, or is it TIA? We can't see the screen now. <laughs> Make cat cam big. Make the screen big. Can't do both. Okay, so last one. Now I have stinky hands. Stinky cat Gross food. Stinky cat food hands. Ah, sorry. <clears throat> so let's look up all the names of the characters here. Let's see which one is which. Um. And Mr. Driller series is related to Bomberman as well, which I enjoy. Oh, yes. It's it's like a, a vertical scrolling game where you dig down uh, further and further down and you get more points as you go further down and there's power-ups and stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun. Bomberman. Let's see. Bomberman Wiki. characters on here. Main series. Where's the original one? There we go. Here's the original one. And if you looked at the title screen on this, it's modeled after the NES Bomberman. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so many pop-ups. So it was released on the NES December 19th, 1985. Uh, there's the oh, I killed story. <laughs> The gameplay enemies. <sighs> Bloom, O'Neill, Doll, Minvo, Doria, Ovape, Pass, and Pontan. And let's see what they what they look like. 
Oh. oh no, it's not on remote timer anymore. What? You lost it? I guess so when you die. Oh no! I didn't know you lose um... the remote timer. Yeah. So Balam is the is the balloon guys. Yeah. We've each got Blom. their separate pages. I have to go back and forth on this. Balam. O'Neill is the blue guys. I think we saw them on the second level. <laughs> what funny names. Uh, O'Neill or Beaker or Kalu the Onion. <laughs> he does look like an onion. Oh, it's, it's related to Dig Dug. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Sorry. Don't, don't, you're not sounding evil. I thought it was, I thought it was Bomberman, but it was Dick Duck, which I also love. Um, so the blue guy moves, qu oh my god, the pop-ups are crazy on this. Moves quickly and randomly, will move towards Bomberman when he's nearby and not likely to get stuck in walls. Incredibly troublesome. One hit to defeat. Again, you get 200 points for them. Still no doors. Where's Doll is the, the blue kind of square ones. I oh, still have to plant some bombs. Have you got double bombs yet, or just single? Oh, I think just single. I think with the remote detonator, you can also plant more than one bomb at a time. And I, I couldn't. No? I couldn't. No. Do you have the remote detonator now? No. No, no it's, it's gone. gone. Oh, okay. There's the door. Might as well get the last one. Might as well. You got the power up on this level? Uh, yeah, but I oh. lost it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Still a work in progress. So cool! Their other cat they used to have was called Pixel. Basically did that. Let Atari ring the bell and treats were given to both of them in the yeah. process. Pixel never rang the bell. Never rang That's the bell. That's right. You need the multiple bomb power up also. You need... To, okay. do the, to do the detonators. Uh, so that guy is named Doll. Oh my gosh. Um, and are, are also called Blockhead. And what is his deal? Uh, moves slightly fast speed, doing some j bouncy moves. It doesn't do jumps, but it does some bouncy moves. It's not hard to kill, but it'd be tricky for new players. Dolls are not smart, either even less intelligent than Barams, but they won't try to ch they won't try to chase Bomberman. Preferring to move to the left to right, sometimes switching up and down. They commonly get stuck in walls. Uh, then the next one is Minvo. Oh, that, those are Minvos, those okay. orange guys. They go after you? Uh, let's see what they say. They're very fast. They move fast like O'Neill's, re resemble smiley faces. They are encountered after dolls. They will commonly pursue Bomberman if he's nearby, although they do get stuck if he's hiding nearby. It's it's um, easier to go round corners than to run far. Oh no! Oh, it got me? Yeah, your your legs were sticking out just oh, a little no. bit. They oh. creep me out too, RC70. <laughs> Very creepy, though. The orange guys? guys? Yeah, they're a little too happy. Did you get the power up on this one? Not yet. Uh, I think it showed that it was a speed up power up, so you can run oh. faster. Oh, this flappy arms. Ah! Yeah, I'd be flapping my arms too. <laughs> uh, Minvos are quite easy to beat. Just treat them like O'Neill's, only you have to be quicker in getting out. Since they're encountered after dolls, encountering on the third stage, you'll probably. You probably have got the remote bomb, so it'll be a bit easier. Somehow you lost it. I, I did lose it. Is that is that something that happens when you die? You lose one or more of your power-ups? Oh, good one. Oh. Oh, oh! So close. Nice. There you go. Now leave it... I'll read the next one when we get to the next level. My turn when you die. Okay. <laughs> I must have picked on that up that without realizing. It's been so long since I did the sprites, I forgot what they all did. Oh, did you get something? Oh, oh my power. god, you're really fast now. I don't have to worry about running away. 
Sometimes in games, I don't get speed ups. I've got them all. I just don't know where the exits are. Especially on shooters, because you can't do. Um, it's not as precise. Yeah, you don't. You lose precision. But in this one, I think it would be very advantageous. The fast speed. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Ah. Run. <laughs> Yeah, what do, what do people think about the width? I think it's fine. It shows yeah. enough of the screen, for sure. Yeah. Because um, Marco Johannes says, I think 10 wide is perfectly fine for this game. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you can run away, you can move in and out of the areas, and it's kind of a confined game anyway because of the bricks. And then when the bricks are open, then you can run through them anyway. Hi, Black Cat. Come on the couch and cuddle. No door yet. You got the power up. Though. I did get the power up. And a good hint is to get corners of blocks so you get two at once. Ah, yay! All right, you want the next yeah. one? Yeah. So there you go. Oh, so, kitty. the next one is Doria, I think. Doria. It's like a blue blob. Oh, my God, it's blob. fast. Oh, there's the door. Oh, we found that fast. Blue blob? It's a blue Let's amoeban see. blob. Let's see it? Blue. Blue blob. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't see any of those yet. Not yet. Also known as Dovia, Condoria, uh, yeah, Amoebi, yeah. Amoebi, and Amoeban. Amoeban. Is an amoeba-like amoeba. Amoeba. Yes. It can appear cyan, turquoise, or any other color. It's able to pass through soft blocks. Soft? Oh, Yeah, I haven't seen any soft blocks yet. No. The graphics for the bricks are incredible. Oh, yeah. The nicely shaded um, browns mm -hmm. to yellow, or off yellow, off brown. I don't know. Whatever the colors are, they're really good. Um, and the 2600 luckily has amazing color palette to choose from. Get it now. Yes. No, no, no. Oh. oh god. Yeah, get out of the way. Hey you. He kind of freaks out when he's moving fast. It's kind of funny. He does. Ah! You can do this. You can like move your arms like Flap you your arms, yeah. If you do diagonals, he kind of freaks out. Let's see if I can do it. No, I can't really do it. You're always under the couch now. Come on, timing. Yes. yes. Bad kitten is under the couch. The cat. And they're small. Nice. Oh, multi bomb. bomb. They're multi. Uh, I think it's multi. Yep. I don't think it's remote. No, it's not remote. Somehow you That's lost okay. that one. I don't know how I did that, but. Nice. Mm, it's just one extra multi. Did you get them? Nope. You. Oh, they're tough. Bugger. They run away. They're like, ah, bomb. Ah. Gonna... Oh, oh, and he got ya. I was trying to trap him, but I was on the wrong side of it. Wrong side of the bomb. Okay. Oh, now I'm slow. Did you I lose everything? I don't know if you lose everything because you get the. You still have. Oh. Oh, you still have the multi bomb. That's. Oh, you're going to lose your multi bomb. Weird that you can lose some. I guess some things are Maybe temporary. Maybe you can only have two at once or something. I don't know. Well, no, I had. Um... No, because you have the distance. You still have the distance. Yeah, that doesn't go away. And I, no. the multi doesn't. Is the multi gone? Oh, God. Do you have multi? Yeah, I do. Just not laying multiples. Did she get him? No, he's running far. Oh! <coughs> he's pretty smart. <gasps> oh! Silly! How am I doing that? Infinite continues! Yay! If the width were too small, you could rotate it. Yeah, I guess. Where did that cat That's go? That's true. It's gone forever in the couch. He's like in the couch now. Oh, is that the last guy? I think that's the last guy. Oh no, it's one guy trapped. He is yeah, trapped. The music changes when you've got all the all of them. So. Oh, he's trapped. Which means I can trap him. Nice. Oh, yeah, the music has changed. Do 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 do. Oh, don't put it under there. I didn't put it under it. 
just bounced. <sighs> this feels like a tough game. Is it hard to get the timing of laying the bombs down? Not really. Uh, yeah, it's it's very tight on the corners. You have to be careful when you're running away. Oh, new I music. Find. Oh, is this is this a bonus level? Oh, it is. You don't have much time. That's why I'm like, where right are away. all the bricks? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think I die in this. You just have to get all the guys. Or maybe you can kill yourself, but the guys aren't hurting me. There we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, what is that thing? This is great. Extra oh my goodness. Extra firepower in this level. Uh, let's go here. Oh my god. Lots of baddies. Oh, nice variety of them now. I haven't seen that amoeba guy. There yet. we go. Now I have three bombs. Is it only one uh, power up per level? <sighs> the good thing is the bombs also block them. Block it seems. them. Oh, 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 oh. Now I've got three of them. Oh, he's stuck. Look at that guy. You can't get out. Oh, no, now I can. I can. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, I see you can block them between the bomb and the wall. Yeah, if they're if trapped they're in a dead enough. End. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's difficult. Does Is... the bomb kick or throw in this version? Oh, we haven't encountered that yet. If it's enabled. Sometimes you can kick the bomb over. Oh, I see. Kick like it further across. if I do this, across. but I can't. Yeah, yep. Unless the second button does that. Kick, kick, kick. Nope. nope. Now I can just... Oops. Lay bombs as I go. Just don't corner yourself, whatever you do. Yep. Always make sure there's a wall in between me. Oh, there's one more guy. And I don't have to know where the door is either. Oh, 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 what? Oh, no! <gasps> I've done that, too. You think you're far enough away and you're not? <laughs> no bomb kick or throw. Yeah, okay. Is Was there bomb kick or throw in the um, <laughs> NES version? <laughs> Excuse me. Short work of finding the door. With all these bombs I have. Just have to make sure I don't blow myself up. Hmm. Having three bombs is awesome. So what does everybody think of this port? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do know where the door is. I must have. Well, yeah. that's all the bricks. Yay. <laughs> do you get points for getting the bricks? Yeah, very good explosion. Mm -hmm. Oh, the roller skate is back. Oh, he went through. There's the, There's the guy. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to beat him. <laughs> he went through the wall. This is very impressive. Good NES to 2600 port. Yes. Oh, yes. It plays really well. Oh, it, it's really fun. Um, oh, my God. Um, yeah, there's no problems with the controls. Um, it looks great. It sounds great. Oh, oh God. Oh my god! Oh, oh. I think he, you touched him. Yeah, I think yeah. I touched him. Super cute. Oh you found the door. That's good. Yeah, it's just sometimes when you you're laying periodically. bombs. <laughs> or just you just run into it, uh, The music hasn't changed. Oh yeah, one more guy. Yeah, get out of that one. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you lost Fire it. Firepower. I think you lost it. I yeah, it's we'll gone. We'll see if it's still there, but I like how the music changes too, do, so you do, know do, you're do, all do. done. It's 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 gone. Boo. I mean, boo indeed. I don't think it would lay another one. No, no, you're done. That's one way to great both in technical oh, and gameplay. Oh, so good. Are you guys fighting. Yeah, if you look at like this game and um, Pit Stop. Cat, Stop. Um, 
the stuff. Oh my it. god. These guys are fighting awesome. so much. There's been fighting? massive advances in tile-based games. Yeah. Um which is which is amazing because there's a lot of tile-based games from the uh from the 80s that would oh god. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh no. That you'll be able to use these kind of engines for. Hmm. So looks great, looks fun, yes. Sometimes you don't want to open it up too much. Did I get him? Nope. Nope. Ran away. They're very fast. Oh. Okay. Let's trap you guys. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do, but yeah, I got him anyway. Yeah, that works. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to get down this hallway. <laughs> Oh. oh, he got ya. Laid the bomb. You can't be running and laying the bomb because the bomb will be yeah. behind you. So you really want to make sure you turn around. Oh, okay, Mr. Orange Bouncy Ball. Oh, God. Yeah, you gotta watch for trapping yourself. Oh. Way too easy. Oh, so close. Yeah, it's, and it's also easy to like lay a bomb and then go around a corner and Man. hit yourself with yeah. it. Because you're just not thinking about the reach. Nope. Or to also lay a bomb and trap yourself because you're not looking for your escape routes at the same time. Yeah, there's like absolutely nothing wrong with this game. Like, the music's incredible, the graphics are incredible, the gameplay is spot on. Um, <laughs> oh, is that the music change? Yeah. Yeah. I have to find, find the sure door. It's... Ah! Let's lay some bombs. Squeakies! Always being a silly kitten. Oh, there's a door. Did I get the power up? Uh, didn't you die just as you were getting it? Or? I think so. Yeah. Or was that the last level? I can't remember. Or even a make maybe an arcade accurate junior Pac-Man. Mm. Oh. Fancy? I don't know. <coughs> Is it fancy? Yeah, it's a nice a nice yeah. restaurant. Do I have to wear a shirt? I think you should. <laughs> not, not a video game themed shirt I mean, you can wear your Atari 2600 <laughs> shirt. <laughs> More than welcome to. Oh, the amoebas. Oh, my God. It goes through walls. No! Ah! No. What is that symbol? It looks like a Coke bottle. I don't know. Ah. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. It gets hard. <laughs> we'll play one more. One more round, yeah. One more round. Do you want to play? No, you played a lot. No, no, I played a lot. It's good. Okay. Get it, get it, I get it, get it. I have the time, too, yes. so. Yeah. Okay, does that guy's... Head straight for you? He's no. Oh my goodness, you almost touched him. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Let's look at some. Oh. Look for look for some power ups here. Those orange guys. They're very fast. Oh my goodness. Because I want to get to close as possible to them, Ugh. but not super close. It has bit me in the past though. Yeah. You hit him. <sighs> yeah, you turned around. Oh, Classic oh. 80s fancy. Yes, exactly. A sport jacket. <laughs> sport jacket and a t-shirt? A uh, Atari 2600 shirt with sport jacket, no socks, loafers. <laughs> there we go. Go, no on the, go on the 80s theme. Go no do the Miami Vice. Uh, no socks would make your shoes smell terrible. Oh, yeah. Maybe hidden socks. Now. Yeah. I, 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 oh, God. Uh, oh, no. I meant to go down. Terrible. Okay, that, it's getting hard now. Yeah. Not sure what level we're on, but... Classic 80s Getting fancy. very difficult. There we go. Game over. Did the did yeah the score reset after every time? New high score. Yay! You get to show this. Oh, cute! Oh, I like this. It's a long walk to Zed. <laughs> yep. Nice. Boom. Long walk back to P. And 
another walk over to his great use of the game engine to do the score just like ladybug yeah with the ladybug where you cross through yeah. them yeah so good i assume that's on the end uh nope nope back at the beginning back there so no shoes good. no shirt no surface <laughs> <laughs> how about no socks yeah wonderful high, high score screen yes that very good so Stage Good nine. CD-W. Yes, thank you so much for letting us show this game off. If you have any remaining questions, he it is a work in progress. He said it was about 90% done, nice. I believe was the notes. Um so yeah, it's get like I, I don't see anything missing, but No, um, it feels very complete. So actually. what is left to do actually? That's oh oh well it is in here. Running out of time does nothing. That should be fairly simple. So like yeah. time equals zero, explode. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it has something special to do. Yeah. Um, isn't create a, possible to create bomb chains? So you'd have to check, is bum, a bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah. exploding on another bomb? Yeah. And it triggers that yeah. bomb. Yeah. And then it triggers that mm. bomb. And the enemy movements are not yet accurate. So I guess the... It, Compared to the original, the original enemies. traits. Oh, I see. Some of them are because the you yeah. know the amoeba goes through things. Some of them are faster walls. than others. Yeah. I think the tracking one part isn't because I notice like some of them, they just ignore you. They just kind of run around yeah. and you're yeah yeah. It's very cool though. It looks really really good. It's and it's and the, very playable. And the difficulty level needs to be reduced a lot. Um, it's not too bad, but I don't know if you're planning uh. on doing easy, medium, hard. Um, but I don't know. I, it's I not mean, too bad. for it's the first level, I didn't. I certainly wasn't able to complete it in the time allotted. But that was my first time playing, so yeah. um, not ever, but in a long time. I don't know. It felt, it felt pretty balanced. Yeah, it was it felt pretty fun. Fairly fair. Yeah. But of course, we had continues. So we did use the continues. <laughs> that's very true. So now yeah, we're gonna great go. Great game. Back a little bit, <laughs> a lot to 2005. Mm. And we're going to be playing Hunchy 2. Hunchy 2. There we go. Which I've been waiting a while to get this cartridge because it's been out of stock here and there. Oh, I see. Um, it was pulled from the store a little while back, but then it came back to the store. Um, so we've got Hunchy 2 here on cartridge, which I kind of recently got. Here's a stick for you. And it is like a platformer type game. Excellent. And are you on foot? Ready? So your goal is to get the bells okay. and avoid everything else. Level one, that was Level it. Level <laughs> one, so I've got the manual here. So you can jump and you can fall without hurting yourself. So you can fall as far as you want. So you want to avoid those bullets that are going by as well. Ah! Sometimes they come out of the walls. Yeah. So you want to be, make sure they're on the screen before you're close to wall on the left, at least right for now. That makes sense. Oh, gotta change the... Uh, introduction. Hunchy 2 is a sequel to the 1982 classic arcade game Hunchback, which is loosely based on the novel Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. Your task is to guide the hunchbacked Quasimodo in his quest to re rescue the gypsy girl, I believe we saw her on the front, Esmeralda from the castle, uh, Cathedral of Notre Dame. To succeed, you must collect all the bells in each cathedral room. You must nice. avoid any incoming missiles and the fearsome cathedral guards. The game contains 14 levels of increasing difficulty. Oh, he got me right away. Uh, plug one joystick controller in the left controller port. Hold this joystick in the left or right position to move Quasimodo horizontally across platforms. Hold the joystick up or down position to ascend or uh, descend the ladders. Pressing the joystick fire button will make Quasimodo jump. But yes, very great uh, sprites, Nathan, on the last game. Very, very Ooh. well done. What are you guys doing? Those missiles come out of nowhere. They do. And is all, this game also reminds me a lot of the Jumpman series. Because there are ladders in that. There's bullets that go across the screen in that. 
And that's a, that's a game I love, 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 love. And there have been a couple attempts to jump man on the 2600. Some have been close, some, but never has one been fully completed. They've always been kind of half done. Oh, Nostalgic said it too, exactly. Oh. Carl G says it's an over, often overlooked gem, I think. I think as well. This is an awesome, mm -hmm. awesome game. Great gameplay. Um, there's also a practice mode where you can skip through levels as well. Oh, that's good. Scoring is based on the bonus timer, so the more time you have left, the higher the score you have. So if you can get the game done quickly in collecting the bells, and you're an expert at getting each of them, and you know the pattern, sometimes you have to fall for bells. Yep. You have to climb up to high up, and sometimes the bells are in a spot where you can't get out of. So you have to make Do sure that last? that's the last bell you get. Uh, hints and tips. Avoid lingering on screen edges oh, as missiles yeah. can often appear suddenly. Yes. Some of them, they come out of the right-hand side. Every screen can be completed without loss of life, so plan your route carefully. Timing your jumps carefully is crucial. Difficult jumps can be made easier by stepping over the ledges of the platforms. The roaming guards will ascend and descend whenever possible. The pattern of missiles on each screen is always the same. Waiting around can sometimes make things easier. So this game programming, Chris, Chris Walton, Sprite and Label Art, Justin Hairgrove, Music and End Sequence, J John Payson, Cart Production, Albert U. Russo, Manual Design, G. Tony Morse. And Hunchy 2 would not be possible without the help and support of the great folks on Atari Age. Copyright 2005. climbing up the other side of the ladder. Was he? Oh, I guess he is climbing up the other side of the ladder because the ladders takes precedence over him. So there's a sprite priority. wonder why that was done. Yeah, Elnifers, why is this player behind the sprite field? RC70, I kind of like the effect. Add some depth. Yeah, it does. And there's no reason why you, the ladder wouldn't be on our side of the screen. Oh, oh good job. Fall, oh, fall for the bell. Yay. <laughs> Level four. Out of 12, was it? 12? Oh my goodness. 12 or 14. 14. Sorry. You're almost there. No, you're not. <laughs> it gets harder. Nope. I would, yeah. Oh, oh got I didn't me see from that the one. right. Super cat. Oh no, you can't oh. do that. Oh no. <laughs> Dead? No. Oh, one life left. How do I get out of here? Is it one life in reserve? Uh, do I fall? Do I have to fall on that bell? Yes, you do to get up the ladder on the left hand side. So you've cleared everything. On the right. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm dead now. No, you have to go right to the edge and then yeah. jump. Here? Yeah. And there you go. Oh. And then do it again. And then do it again. There you go. Then you have to jump and grab the ladder. And, um... This is actually a 4K game, which is amazing that it has 14... Get! No, don't run in there. Oh my god. Come on, little slippery guy. Come with us. Nope. Come on. Cuddle with us. There we go. Cuddle. Forced cuddles. No, forced cuddles. Oh, you really want to go. Just don't go back in the closet. It's not for cats. Oh, go around. Oh, you could jump up and grab that ladder, I think, from that ledge. Which ledge? Over to the left a bit. Oh. That one. I think you might be able to. There you go. Yay! Level, Level five. five. Is that a real... Oh, there's a toy that the cats have that chirps. 
Oh. And when they bat it, that's probably what you're hearing. Yeah. Uh, Jesse. Dangerous lower level. Oh, oh. got me raw. Oh. Level go. five. Yeah. <laughs> nice. The kittens. Who's that? Oh, you won't let me touch him. <laughs> He's like, no. No, you can't touch me. I'm too crazy right now. Too fluffy. Way too fluffy for you. Way too fluffy. Just like Jumpman, you can fall onto a ladder and climb it. Yeah, I oh, like I that. Love oh, I love that, that mechanic. Too. It's so fun. <laughs> and falling so without any danger, so good too. You can't do that in Jumpman though. You can jump across there. Yeah. Jumpman, you can only fall a tiny bit. Oh, there's only one? Oh, come on. Yeah. Of you can course. jump over it. Don't like it. Yeah, but you can. Go. Oh. It's not easy. Uh, don't come, don't come, don't come. There we go. Yeah, the ladder climbing looks like the smoothest I've ever seen on a 2600. So fun. So fun climbing <laughs> a ladder. Oh. oh! Plunge. Plunging to your death. Yep. To the pit of nothingness. Yeah, you have to go down there, don't you? I like the tones, the sounds they make when you climb up the ladder. It As is you good. go higher and higher, it, the pitch goes do, higher do, and do, higher. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's great. But that's all you can do there. <laughs> uh, then you... I went across. Oh. Yeah, now you have to go all the way around again. I think. Or you can get oh. that bell. Yeah. I'll but the one up bell. there you have to jump across to. Maybe you can... Ah! 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 Oh no. Damn it. Two lives already down. Terrible. No, you have to go down. Sometimes you can kind of get stuck on a ladder. It, it, it's almost like you have to drop back down and then go up. It's like you jump up and down and jump. I don't know. Yay! Yay. Who's firing all those I bullets? I know! Off-screen baddies. Oh, why? It's, it's the the, uh. the Parisian mob who's come for Hunchy. Oh, is that? Uh, yeah, I, I see him. They're mad. Yeah. Stop ringing those bells! They're driving us crazy. That guy doesn't come after you. Uh, not in this level. Mm. Oh goodness. They do later. Good night, Thrust. Good night, Thrust. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it gets late there. Luckily beginning he was able to tune in for. You want to get that bell last, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah. Or maybe? The one on the left? Yeah. Yeah. Because then you have to go all the way around again. Exactly. Uh, oh my god! <sighs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, this when one. they come out of both sides, it's ugh. Dangerous. Oh, dangerous! Is. Ah. Get up there without any repercussions. As long as bullets don't come. Go oh, down. Uh, uh, I think that's bells. a dead end at the moment. Bells, I bells. think I want to go no. here no. first. Oh. Oof. Oof. Ah! Oof. I think that's a dead end down to the right. Really? Yep. Okay. Can only go one way. Once. Do it once. Yep. Or else you have to wait for a bullet to kill you. Or that guy. Uh, then I do this one. Yeah. Jump over and jump back. <gasps> oh. Hide. <laughs> Yay! Level 7! Did Notre Dame lore have magic in it? I don't... 
think so. I don't know. I've never read it. Only in Disney know, movies. Yeah, I just know the general. Oh, God. Oh, he comes for you. Oh, my God, he's chasing you. And there's bullets everywhere. Oh, no! You got hits? No! Level 7. Do you want to play again? You play another one. Okay. Part. I predict this will be an After Dark game because I really want to finish this game. But we'll do our best. So maybe the last game or second to last game. Uh, yeah. We have to. It's a short stream today. <laughs> Shorter. Yeah. Shorter. CD dash W W double header. <laughs> Up. Yeah, I definitely would want to play this right to the end. Yes. For level twelve, totally doable. Level fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Because once you kind of know the level a bit, you. Anyone in the mood to catnip a cat? Yeah, there's catnip enabled. We have them. Yeah, we have it here. Yep. Yep. If anyone feels inclined, now would be a good time to do it. It would be. Oh, thank you for... Oh, i got to jump over that guy, don't I? It just keeps going. So, it's going to come out as soon as I... Ah! It, no, there is a delay. They are in a pattern. So after two go, there's a big delay. So you have to run across right away, I find. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, come on. See, there's that big delay. And then it like one comes, then a couple come. So I should wait. wait. Party yeah. time for kittens. Time for cats, 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 cats. cats, cats. <laughs> it's party time for kittens. Kittens! Don't 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 shoot me, don't shoot me. Yes. Oh, they're both here. Pull that. Okay, where here. do you want where do you want your do you want it on top? No? Okay, let's no, put no, it right no. in the middle. You ready? You ready? It's a catnip. Push, push, push. I should put the game in that tiny little window. There you go. So you guys can still see the game a little bit. <laughs> it's so tiny though. No, it's okay. Not right now. You can see I them. Will, I will put it there. You can see them in the cat cam though. If you play the game. Uh I would I would nice. show the game. You can see uh Atari it takes him a little while to get them all revved up, so. Oh yeah, I'll switch over. Same as tree time. No button for me to activate catnip either. What? It's really weird. Who who activated it? You didn't say. Oh, uh, was it? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Didn't say. It was. Flashed oh on the gosh. screen. Flew by. Flew by very quickly. Uh, Arena foot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Arena foot. The cats. Thank you. At least Atari does. Don't think. Um, Danny to see. Think that was me? Was it Arena Foot? Everyone did it. Oh, everyone did it. <laughs> Only the first one get to do it. Uh, it was Arena Foot, my program say. Is registered Arena Foot to do it? Oh. Yeah. Level five. I've lost two lives. Oh my god. Right, I do see that, and I also see when they are in cooldown mode. Right. But I don't get the actual bar button to redeem them. What? That's I think, really but strange. do you have to be a subscriber to make it work or no? I looked it up before the show okay. because Ivory Tower Collections said that. Okay. And I found a, f a thread saying, I want only subscribers oh, to do it. So it shouldn't be the case. So it shouldn't be the case. So I'm not sure what's well, going on and why. You see, I was doing it the same time it went off. <laughs> and then Arena Foot said I tried, but it was out of stock. Maybe it was Dan ABC. I don't know. I don't nope. know. It says catnip Arena Foot two minutes ago. Really? Yep. Oh, interesting. So it did work. Is Sprite too young for catnip? He doesn't seem all that interested doesn't, in it, but I've care. noticed that that it's younger cats don't seem to respond to it. No, the same and then way. they then they do care because I remember Pixel didn't care about it for a while. When he was quite young, and then as he got older, he got kind of more interested in the catnip. In the nip. In the nip. <gasps> damn it! Oh, no. I went up too fast! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, 
to do this. Could they both be redeemed at the same time? I, I yep, probably. They can. Yeah, probably. But he probably don't want to do that. As long as they get the kitty uppers. <laughs> but it doesn't Oof. show in chat. Yeah. That's no, weird. it doesn't. I I should figure out how to do it in chat so everyone yeah. can see. Yeah. Right now it only registers on my end. Pages of Cat Games has a cat who is just not interested in catnip. Some, some aren't. Yeah. It is genetic. I think yeah. some of them some of them respond to it and some don't. Atari will start rolling around and getting all all happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> he fell down. Come on! Bullets! Oh, they're troublesome. But he can only go on his area. Yeah. So you have a bit of safe yeah. area to mess around with. Like there, and then you go down and... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, you're dead now. Damn it! Oh, it's game over! Oh, no! Have time for one more? Uh, three minutes. Uh, it's not really enough nope. time. Okay. <laughs> We're going to so play this mean. on After Dark, I think. And I'm not so mean. mean. So mean. Uh, okay, Atari, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> oh, nobody could see me no playing. No one could see you play at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're silly. Told you I to died. flip it back. Yeah. <laughs> Level six. Come here. Same, same spot. Don't step on the ah. joysticks. Ah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you all high? <laughs> so I can. So thank you so much. Yes. Everybody for tuning in to the show. Um, let's switch over and see who. Quick on the nip, not quick, quick on, on the trivia. trivia shows. <laughs> Let's see who tuned in. Thank you for tuning in, CD W, Yay. and thank you for making these amazing games. Both you can are awesome. All, uh, all, Super fun. All Super of these games, games are so good. Like yeah. uh, Juno First is one of my favorite oh, shooters. Yeah. Juno First is on the really twenty six hundred yeah. and Zevius. Oh my god, I'm unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Charles Reese, thank you for tuning in. The D Train, Arena Foot, Carl G, <laughs> Dan ABC, CD W, mm -hmm. Man of the Night. Uh, RC70, uh, Dan ABC, Charles Reese, I think I said that. Ivory Tower Collections, Phaser Cat Games, Vitoko, Nostalgic. Uh, I agree. Um, Sprite is super cute. He's a super cute cat. Spiceware. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Yeah, you're mad. Don't play with him with your hands. Oh, I'm just touching him. Uh, nostalgic, Marco Johannes. Mm, who else is here? Cafe Man 2D, Meaty Spag. Meaty Spaghetti. <laughs> meaty Spaghetti. I'm guessing. Nathan Strum, great graphics on uh, Boom. Uh, Thrust, tuned in. Yeah, because it was a little bit early of a mm -hmm. show today. And Deanoid at the very, very top. Yay! Yeah. Ricardo Pam. Oh, Ricardo Pam. Uh, no. Oh, thank you for following Ray Dubois. Um, yeah, there's no show on Tuesday. We'll be away. Uh, we'll be away, but yeah. we'll be back uh, next Friday with Darcy. Yes, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what we're going to be playing. I have some 8 bit games. Probably a couple 2600s will be ready by then, I think. Yeah, good. Um. And we're going to have a uh, CD W developer spotlight in yeah. the future. That's awesome. Because he said yes. So. Yay. Good and stuff. he's got lots of great games to go good. through in his catalog, including the two that we played today. Mm -hmm. um, there's no happiness Aww. Tuesday. We'll you can watch back. a rerun. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> there's lots of reruns. Or, if, or one that you've missed. Yeah. How about that? There's there's hundreds of them. So I'm sure there's not ever. Watch some terrible early ones if you yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. <Ugh. laughs> and laugh at my setup. Um, yeah. So we'll be back next Friday mm -hmm. with Darcy with some more great homebrew. Mm -hmm. um, we have some big shows coming up. Nothing is scheduled yet, but they're coming. They're coming. Mm -hmm. Some big shows. Um, yeah, we'll be at Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Yes. We will be at is Portland Retro Gaming Expo. June? June 25th. Oh my gosh, that's like coming up fast. In three weeks. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so if you are in this area, in the yeah. Vancouver area, there's a Retro Gaming Expo, and it's not terrible. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. It is pretty good. It's, it's, it's gotten bigger and bigger. It's quite a bit in the last few years. Every so. year. Yeah. And, and it's like decent. It's got panels, 
It's got music. Yep. Uh, it's got lots of vendors. It's got a bit of an arcade area, not arcade machines, but more just consoles that people can play games at. Consoles. It's actually pretty good for computers. Uh, computer, retro computers. Retro computers. It's actually yeah. very decent Fair, for that. Fairly big section, usually. Um, it's got competitions. Yes. Cosplay. Did it have cosplay? There were definitely some people in there's cosplay people. when we were there. I don't know if there's a competition for cosplay, yeah. but it's, it's pretty good and it's got a lot better um over the oh years. yeah over yeah. the last few years it's yeah. become uh, yeah a lot bigger um anyway. so we will see you mm -hmm. next friday yeah so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon yeah bye everyone bye. thank you cd-w bye bye